cracking guys i'm really really buzzed at the moment i'm over the top i went to kleptomania this morning with some friends and i picked up loads of great stuff for my collection and i just wanted to share some of the stuff that i got from kleptomania with you guys uh please bear in mind this is the first video to go on i've got another video to come on which is loads of different things with me walking around talking playing computer games all the different stuff what goes on at kleptomania will be in that video but this video like i say is just to show you what i got i'm really buzzed about it i'm really happy with it i feel very blessed because i wanted to upgrade my collection and that's what i've been talking about for ages is upgrading my collection and i finally managed to do it my partner has been great because i've been spending a lot of money and a lot of this costs a lot of money and we all know what kleptomania is like you know um it's not cheap but at the same point is if you like uh, this sort of stuff, then you'll buy it. You know, if you're into figures, movie figures, wrestling, and so on, you'll buy it. I love it. But anyway, I picked up a Batman Nectar Michael Keaton figure. Um, it's completely sealed at the moment. I'm thinking about doing a video, like a review on this, and actually open it up and show you guys. Um, I had to get this one. The reason being is because it's from the very first film. This is actually, um, I see they've nicked the kind of cover to make like, computer game they brought out the NES but that's something I'll mention in the review but anyway I'm happy with that I love that that's that one um and I picked up these ones as well which Ric Flair box the fury which I love the fury um I'm starting to get into this sort of series now and I'm collecting them so let's start it off with Ric Flair but saying that I actually lied to you I've actually got Stone Cold I've actually got Mankind already and Shawn Michaels and some other ones so now I've got Ric Flair, yeah? So that's awesome. And I'm actually thinking about taking him out of the box. I'm not too sure, right? And as we talked about that series, we've also got Racing Rick Rude. Now I had to get this. You know, you've got to understand, I had to get Racing Rick Rude. The man didn't get mentioned enough in wrestling. And I just thought that, you know, I, I'm a big fan of him. I had to get it. So please, guys, uh, please check out the review, which I'll do on this one, yeah? Awesome, so basically the majority of a lot of this I will do reviews on anyway. And awesome, the Arkham series. Um, I've got Poison Ivory, which I'm really happy about that. The seller I bought it off, that was his actual last one. The only one, so these go really good. I love these ones because the packaging is brilliant. And for where I store my stuff, it's perfect in this sort of thing. It's not going to get ruined. But it's also not coming out, yeah? Boom, awesome. And I had to get this uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And I've got that one, yeah, where he's actually, in the end of the film, he gets frozen, blah, 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 you know what that, you know the deal. I got that one because I haven't really seen this one a lot online. So it was either this one or the one where he's just in his suit, you know, the, the cop suit. So so I had to get this one with this where he's all freeze and stuff, you know what I mean? So that one I'll definitely do a review on and talk more in depth. But I'm bursting at the moment, guys. I really am. Also, picked up Jake the Snake. Good thing about... Uh, picking up this figure is I've actually got this one already so this one will actually go on Retro Mania for whoever's watching this if you do want this one make sure you mention it to me as soon as yeah awesome okay and then we've got Hot Rod I picked up Hot Rod as well okay uh, also the Honky Tonk Man is really good picked him up as well uh, picked up Lex Luthor yeah, which is a nice figure. I picked up him. And also, I picked up uh, Commissioner Gordon. Batman. Yeah. And I had to get that Supergirl. Uh, this doesn't show it much justice, but it looks better when it's actually out of there. But as you know, I like to keep it in there until I work out where it's going and so on. Awesome. Another super. Good. Okay, that's my laptop updating. Okay, whatever. Anyway, this is DC Direct Superman. Got it on good thing. Only problem with him, he's got a little bit of a split there. But I've had that with numerous figures and I've fixed it, so it's not a big deal. And that's awesome. Superman figures that seem to be hard to get at the moment. Don't know why, but, but you know. Anyway, there we go. We've also got Gene, our X Men. Yeah, love that one. So I'm a big X Men fan anyway, you know. And this one, Two Face. Look at that. DC Direct again. Two Face. Now this one, nobody asks me, it ain't for sale, okay? I'm sorry, but if I get another one, it will come on retro. I've been quite greedy at this kleptomania. I basically went there to add to my collection, like I keep telling you guys. But you know, you know, you know I get bored with stuff and I might want to trade it anyway. So you know what's cracking. 
Okay, there's Autumn Dragon. Yep. And I think, is that everything? Yeah, that is everything. That's what I've picked up so far today, if you might mind scanning my darling. Okay, that's everything I've picked up today. I'm really happy with that. A lot of them um, figures, what I've picked up, they're all going to get sorted out. And no doubt I will do a review on all of them. So guys, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. There's going to be a second video. The second video is exciting. It's fun. It's great. But like as always, please like this video, share this video, do whatever you want with it, as long as it's positive, baby, okay? Stay blessed. God bless. Bye-bye.